When our backseat back boiler was condemned because it fell apart during servicing, uh, we replaced it with a new combi boiler, which meant we could get rid of all this tank in the airing cupboard. And we put the new Worcester Bosch Green Star 4000 in another cupboard elsewhere in the house. Installation was done by British Gas. It took two and a half days. Um, obviously, here's the hole in the house for the flu. And then here's the finished installation, quite neat and tidy. And for the rest of the video, I'm just going to show what the boiler is like in operation. One thing that did surprise me was that they installed some sort of electronic water softener. Um, I strongly suspect this isn't doing anything useful whatsoever. But everything else about the installation was smooth and trouble free. OK, so we turn the boiler on. You can see the setting of the heating, the setting of the hot water. You can access a user menu. Preheat mode, I think, controls whether the boiler keeps the heat exchanger hot to get more fast hot water. Boiler status tells us the water pressure and the current temperature of the heat exchanger, I guess. Under information, we've got the water pressure plus the current hot water temperature. That's more likely to be the temperature of the heat exchanger, I think. And then there's some automatic filling settings for the heating. Energy consumption tells you how much energy you've used in the last 30 days for hot water and central heating. We haven't used the heating yet in earnest, it's just been tested. The hot water, 1.8 kilowatt hours in probably about a week. And then there's some settings, not very interesting. Cleaning function, emergency mode, don't know. However, much more interestingly, if you press these two buttons, now we're in the service menu. Don't really want to play around with this, but there's some interesting thing else under info. You can see current status. Well, we're not using the boiler. Current fault. There's no faults. Fault history. Well, there are some faults. I imagine these are all from when the boiler was installed. Now we've got boiler information. I don't know why it says max heat output 24 kilowatts because it is a 30 kilowatt boiler. Maybe that's the maximum it's used recently. Uh, that's, that's various temperatures. I'm not totally sure what they are. Now, boiler uh, modulation is sort of the percentage power output that we're using right now, I think. And then that's uh, represented in kilowatts as well. So 100% would be 30 kilowatts. I don't know what ionisation current is. That's how many times the burner has been ignited. Under hot water we've got maximum output 30 kilowatts. Flow rate, so that's how much water you're using right now. That's the temperature, well supposedly at the tap. Uh, I don't know if there's an offset but it's obviously measuring the temperature inside the boiler. Uh, hot water temperature, uh, set temperature. Okay, so uh, the installers configured it to give us 56C at the tap, which is hot enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn on the bath tap, uh, which is a fast flowing tap, and we'll see how quickly it gets to temperature, and also have a listen to what noises it makes. So
Okay, so we're now heating 10.6 litres per minute of water. And you can see the burner has come on. This is how much noise it's making. And I assume... Ah, I've lost the menu. There we go. I assume these temperatures are going to start to go up. Yep, 50 C now. So that should reach 56. Now, if we just look at the how much energy we're using to do this. So we're at full power right now, using 30 kilowatts of gas. As the heat exchanger reaches temperature, I expect that to start to use less gas. Now, right now, it is the early September 2021. It's not particularly cold outside. That means the cold water supply coming in is not particularly cold. So I'd imagine that um, in the middle of the winter, we may not be able to heat the water at full flow like this. Let me go turn the tap off and watch what happens to that. So it keeps making a noise for a while. I think there's a fan. I'm um, just to get an idea of how noisy it is. So this is the sound of a pencil tapping on a wall. Tapping on metal. So there you go, hopefully that's a familiar sound that you can calibrate your volume levels to. And that's someone else in the house turning the taps on and off. run that fan for a little bit after and silent again <laughs> 